the last two weeks felt the calm before the storm, you know. So we had a we had a, a break week and then we had a rugby week. Um, but obviously now we're in this week. We've got a massive game Friday night against Edinburgh. Edinburgh are fighting hard to get into a playoff spot. Um, we've got a, a, a good team to go up there and play against them. You know, respect Richard Cockrell for what he's done and how he's built their team. They've got the home quarter final against Munster to come a week on Saturday. Um, and we've got the reintegration of the Ireland players coming back in this week um, alongside running a team to play Edinburgh. Uh, and then, you know, with the, the combination of say 45, 50, 50 odd players fit and available for selection. We need to build a team that's got cohesion and confidence and belief going into the Ulster game because that's a huge game for us now. Um, obviously with the quarter final at the Aviva. Um, and then it rolls on, as you say, you know, there's no break now. So it goes Treviso, Glasgow, you know, potentially obviously you've got to earn the right to get into a semi-final, Ulster away, uh, and then it's into, into semis and finals rugby. So yeah, there's no break now, um, but that's why I've decided to stay for another couple of years because I enjoy, really enjoy the day-to-day -day stuff. It was pretty easy, really. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I think I've said from the outset that I'm very lucky to have had the opportunity after, you know, coaching England to come to such a top club, you know, currently, you know, European champions and you've got a whole raft of talented players who you're coaching on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, um, with not only Ireland players, but aspiring Ireland players and players who want to play at the highest level, talented young players coming through. I'm day in, day out coaching. I'm, you know, got the remit of looking after attack and defence. So, you know, from a coaching point of view, it's it's a brilliant environment to be in. Um, the big considerations, obviously, for all these things are your family as much as anything else. And you know, it's worked. It's worked well. Um, the community has been um, a challenge, but it's it's doable. Um, my wife and kids are happy. Um, uh, in that they can come across whenever 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 they want, and I can go home and see them. Uh, so yeah, no, it was quite an easy decision to make, really, and obviously with Leo staying as well, um, it means that you know we can continue to work together and um, hopefully build on what we've achieved so far. When I first arrived, I could see the potential from from before I arrived because obviously when the call came from Leo, the first thing you do is assess the squad, assess the current situation. You know, we we just lost against Connacht in a Pro 14 final, um, but I saw more than enough in the team to believe that success could be built. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, when you when you when you do the maths, and you know, with another couple of years, five years is is quite a long time actually. Um, you know, I coached England for four years, um, and uh, in my mind, you know, obviously I wanted to do it for eight, but uh, um, it, it didn't happen that way. So, five years, um, I guess when you look back, it looks like a long time, but in coaching terms, I still feel there's an awful lot we can do to improve. Um, Probably qualifies me for an Irish passport, doesn't it? In five years' time, I'll be. Yeah. Could be officially Irish. Yeah.